Oh boy, today's finally the day. Someone's also been telling me for weeks now that he's been too busy to go jellyfishing with me, but now he has a day off, and it's the perfect time to go. All right, SpongeBob. All right, you ready to head out, buddy? Sorry, Jack, no can do. I completely put off all my Christmas preparations, and now I only have two days to get them done. What? Christmas? You guys celebrate that here? What? You thought we didn't celebrate Christmas? What made you think that? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I just kind of assumed. I mean, there's, you know, I mean, in, in New Kelp City, there was a lot of snow, and, and here I haven't seen even a single snowflake, so I, I guess I just kind of thought. You don't always need so to celebrate Christmas. Besides, we are supposed to be getting some on Christmas Day, I assure you. Bikini Bottom will be completely covered in snow when you wake up that morning. Wait a minute. If you didn't think we celebrated Christmas, does that mean you're also not ready? Uh, I mean, I guess. I, I don't really think so. What do I have to do anyway? Well, just think. What did you have to do to prepare for Christmas when you lived in New Kelp City? Nothing, really. I mean, Fred and Tim, my best friends at the time, they... They bought all the gifts for everyone, and I think they set up the tree, too. And they got all the food prepared, and we had a big Christmas dinner and everything, and yeah, they made that, too. Um, so, yeah, I guess they handled everything. Oh, Jack, you have so much to learn about life. <sighs> no matter. I'm sure you can get everything done if you start right now. Okay, um, I guess I can. If, if you can't go jello fishing with me, I guess I have the time, but... Can you tell me exactly what I have to do? Hmm, it's probably too much for you to remember. How about I just write it all down for you? Uh, I, I guess that'll work. Uh, thanks, SpongeBob. All right, give me one second. Let's see. Hmm, you definitely need to do that. Uh, and that. Ah, oh, there's no time for that. And you can't handle that. Oh, and you can't forget about that one. And just one more, and... Done! All right, Jack, you're all good to go. I included some tasks that you need to do for yourself, plus one that you have to do for the town. All right, SpongeBob, uh, thanks, buddy, but what are the tasks uh, specifically? Well, first you have to buy gifts for all your close friends. Then you should set up your own tree and other decorations. Mm, plus, you'll need a chimney for Santa to come through, as well as cookies and milk for him once he arrives. Oh, and I also gave you the responsibility of putting the big star in the town's giant Christmas tree. The tree won't be up until tomorrow morning. Plus, I still need to look around my house for the star, so you can do that tomorrow. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm sure you can get it all done if you hurry. All right, SpongeBob. Well, I'm on it, buddy. Uh, is this the book you were just writing? Oh, yeah, it looks like it. All right, so I've got five things I have to do. All right, so I need to buy, looks like four presents. I need to buy one for SpongeBob, one for Mr. Krabs, one for Squidward, and one for Sandy. Okay, step two, I need to build my chimney. Okay, I don't really know how to do that, but I guess I can figure it out on the spot. Uh, I need to set up my tree and my decorations. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Uh, I need to buy cookies and milk for Santa when he arrives. All right, hopefully I don't eat those before he shows up. And I have to put the star on the town tree. All right, so apparently that won't be up till tomorrow, and he doesn't even have the star for me right now, so... I guess today what I should do is I should buy the presents, I should build the chimney, set up the tree, and buy cookies and milk. Hmm, what should I do first? I, I guess some of them kind of tie together, because I have to buy cookies and milk, and I have to buy tree stuff, and I have to buy the stuff I need to build the chimney, and I need to buy the presents. Alright, well, I guess the, uh, the good first place to start would be the mall. Hopefully it's not too busy, I guess it's two days before Christmas, so it, it might be a little packed, but, well, I guess I have no choice. I'm gonna have to go now. All right, well, thank you for the list, SpongeBob, and uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the star. All right, Christmas begins in two days. I have nothing done. Time to start. All right, time to do my first ever Christmas shopping. Ooh, it already looks pretty packed. Oh, man. Has this place ever had anyone inside it besides me? And and look, now there's like, at least like 20 different people in here. Oh man, Christmas time is crazy, huh? Oh, the cashier's still here doing his job. All right, well, hmm. 
There's never anything good on the first floor. Well, I mean, there are a bunch of books, but... Man, if I got a book for Christmas, I'd be really upset. Alright, well, hopefully they have some better stuff up here. Uh, considering it's near Christmas, they should have some good stuff, right? Well, hopefully it's not too expensive. Well, I mean, I've never actually paid for anything here except... Except that couch a little while ago, but... Uh, I don't know if the guy will let me borrow any more stuff. I've already done that quite a bit. I guess I'll worry about that later. For now, I gotta focus on the task at hand, which is finding presents. Let's see. Hold on, I need to find some presents. Um, I'm gonna need chimney supplies. I'm gonna need stuff to build a tree. And I need cookies and milk. Alright, it's a lot of stuff to remember, but hopefully I can find all that stuff in these... Oh, uh, what, seven chests? Is that all they have here? Oh, uh, there's nothing in any of these chests. Alright, well, let's see. Five dollars. All right, so all these things are five dollars. We've got uh, nothing really good. Should I give SpongeBob a chair for Christmas? No, probably not. Oh, a clarinet. Hmm, that might make for a decent gift. But who on my list would want a clarinet? Hmm, I guess I'll come back for that later. Right now, I should focus on SpongeBob. I should focus on him one at a time. All right, eight dollars. Ooh, getting pretty pricey here. Um, table pumpkins. Wrong, wrong holiday, Maul. That was for, uh, Halloween. Oh, we got some ornaments here. Okay. Some sugar. Oh, a Christmas star. Hmm. Okay. Those things might come in handy later. Might have to grab some of those on the way out. Uh, whoa. $320? Are you kidding me? What? $320 for some stained glass? For some golden carrots? For an axe? Oh, man. This stuff is pricey. All right, well, it's a good thing I don't usually pay for stuff when I'm here, but mm, any of this stuff going to come in handy? Um, I guess the flint and steel might, if I want to burn down someone's house. Uh, I mean, uh, start up the uh, the chimney in the fireplace. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to build a fireplace for the chimney. Oh, man, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Okay, I need to I need to speed this up. There's a crown, some netherrack, some the axe again. Hmm, how about $40? Oh, this is my price range. Actually, no, $40 is still above my price range, but it's it's closer. Um, blueprints, okay, some leaves, shovel, some more ornaments, some water. Uh, $80, okay, jumping up a little bit again. Some fake money, some ornaments, some wood, some bricks, and some hay. Uh, an oven, I don't know why I would want an oven. Uh, some ornaments, a stocking, eggs, more ornaments, some glass pane, and a pickaxe. And finally, we've got $16 items, which are... Ooh, some pizza. Okay. I'm gonna have to get some of that for myself. Uh, some raw beef, some milk, some hot chocolate, some Christmas cookies, and some gingerbread men. Okay. Well, while that I'm now that I'm here, I might as well... Yeah, I need to buy cookies and milk, so... Both of those seem to be in one chest. All right. So I got some milk right here, and... Hmm, Christmas cookies or gingerbread men? If I were Santa Claus, which would I rather eat? Um, you know, I think Santa Claus is more of a Christmas cookie kind of guy. And I don't think he really likes hot chocolate. Okay, so let's see. So I've been through all the chests. I need to find something for SpongeBob. What would SpongeBob want? Would SpongeBob want a clarinet? Uh, probably not. Would SpongeBob want some sugar? Uh, maybe, but probably not. Mm, a crown? I mean, SpongeBob is yellow. It'll, it'll blend in with him. No, that's stupid. How about... Some blueprints? Uh, SpongeBob's not smart enough for some blueprints. Maybe fake money? Uh, no, SpongeBob already makes a lot of money at the Krusty Krab. Well then, I guess that leaves only... Huh. Maybe an oven would work. Yeah, what if... What if I got SpongeBob an oven for his house? That way he can make Krabby Patties for me at his house! I wouldn't have to go all the way to the Krusty Krab to get my lunch! Oh, okay, a gift that works for Spongebob and for me. All right. You know what? I'm going to get that. Spongebob, Merry Christmas to you. You are going to get an oven. All right. Very good. All right, so I have Spongebob's gift. Um, all right, now I need Mr. Krabs. Uh, he wouldn't want a clarinet. And he wouldn't want blueprints. That's not going to get him any money. Uh, oh, money! Now that I think about it, fake money! It's not real money, but... I could probably pass it off as real money. I mean, Mr. Krabs probably can't tell the difference. Okay, I'm gonna get Mr. Krabs some fake money. That is a great gift. Maybe even better than the oven I'm getting SpongeBob. All right. Now, let's see here. I still have Squidward. Hmm, what is Squidward like? 
he doesn't like very much. He, he usually just hates stuff. Oh, come on. Think, Jack. What's one thing that Squitter doesn't hate? Uh... Oh, wait a minute. I'm stupid. Squidward loves chairs. No, he doesn't love chairs. <gasps> a clarinet? Yeah, Squidward might... He, he might like the clarinet, actually. Hmm, chairs or the clarinet? Uh, he probably would prefer the clarinet, now that I think about it. All right. Found something that Squidward probably won't hate nearly as much as everything else, so... Now the only person left is Sandy. What does Sandy want? Does she want... Does she want pumpkins? Maybe she needs to prepare for Halloween next year. Or maybe she wants some eggs so she can grow some chickens. No, no, no. Think, Jack, think. What does Sandy want? What interests Sandy? Power? Does she want a... Does she want a crown? Uh, no, that doesn't sound like Sandy. Uh, maybe some hay? No, no, no. <sighs> the only thing left that I could get her then is... <gasps> the blueprint! Of course! Sandy's really smart. It, I don't know what this blueprint is for, but it's mysterious. It's It's gotta be some blueprints to build something. Something really high-tech and cool. Well, I guess the only person I know that could actually follow the blueprints right and build something would, would be Sandy, so... All right, I guess I'll get her the blueprint. Okay, that means I've got all the gifts for everyone. <sighs> you know, now that I think about it, SpongeBob put this list together for me of all the people that I should get a gift for, but what about Plankton? I mean, sure, he's caused us some trouble in the past, and he has used me several times, but <sighs> he still needs a gift. I mean, well, what if no one else gets him any Christmas gifts, you know? I mean, <sighs> I would just feel so bad. All right, well... If I'm gonna get Plankton something, I should... Hmm, I guess... <gasps> oh, the crown! Actually, would the crown even fit on Plankton? That probably wouldn't, now that I think about it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get him the crown. He loves power, and he does want to rule the world, the world someday, so... I guess whenever that day comes that he actually does take control of the world, I guess he'll need a crown. Alright, so now I got all the gifts for everyone, and for Plankton, so I'm, I'm actually a step ahead. So now I need to build my chimney. Hmm, what do I need to build a chimney? I'm gonna need... I don't think I'll need any of this stuff. Uh, the... Uh, no, none of this stuff is gonna come in handy for building a chimney. Um, oh, the flint and steel will. I'll need that to start the fern or the, uh, the fireplace. Uh, an axe? Oh, that might come in handy. I'll probably need, uh, some tools here and there. Uh, the nether rack, Of course, the thing I'll have to set on fire. Hmm... A shovel, okay, kind of along with the axe, something I'll need. And... Oh, the bricks, of course! Exactly what the uh, the fireplace and the uh, the chimney is going to be made out of, the bricks. All right, I think that's pretty much everything. Actually, I should probably get some of these glass panes now that I think about it. I mean, what if I start the fire in the, uh, in the fireplace, and then the fire spreads and burns down my entire house? Except my house is made of rock. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna get these anyway. Might as well. And actually, I should probably grab this diamond pickaxe as well, because you never know when that I might need it. And no, none of that stuff is gonna come in handy for building a chimney. Okay, put this stuff all up in here, because I'm all good to go. All right, two steps down. Uh, no, actually, three steps down, because I have the cookies in the milk. So three steps down, one to go. All I have to do now is get my tree decorations. Okay, mm, what did I see that could be used to build a tree? Um... None of this stuff is for a tree. How about... Ooh, pink ornament. Okay, and blue ornaments. And a Christmas star for the top of the tree. Okay. Uh, nope, none of these are going to come in handy. Uh, ooh, green ornaments. Uh, ooh, the leaves. That's uh, That can be what I put the ornaments on. Um, ooh, and some white ornaments. Okay, so I've got four different colored ornaments. I have the Christmas star, and I have the leaves. Is there anything else I need? Um... Ooh, okay, so we got some yellow ornaments, and we also have some red ornaments. Okay, so you've got six different color ornaments, yellow, green, white, pink, blue, and red, and we have the Christmas star. Hmm, I feel like we're missing something, though. Hmm. Ooh, a stocking! Of course, that, that'll come in handy. So, uh, when Santa gives me my coal, or, I I'm sorry, when Santa gives me my Christmas present, of course, uh, he'll have something to put in, I guess. If he has any candy or, or, again, any coal, I guess he can put it in the stocking. Okay. Uh, well, I think that's everything, then. 
got the cookies and the milk. I've got all the stuff for my tree and the decorations. I have the chimney. I have all the presents. Is there anything left that I could use? Uh, I don't think so. Pretty sure I have everything I could possibly need. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm missing something. Oh, I need the base of the tree. I need the actual Christmas tree. I mean, I can put these leaves around the tree, but I still need, I still need something to put the leaves on. Ah, that's where the wood comes in. Of course, the mall knows what I need to build my Christmas tree. Okay, well, now that I've double checked everything, yeah, I think I'm all good to go now. All right, I'm gonna go uh, see if I can borrow all this stuff. It's kind of a lot of stuff to borrow now that I think about it. I don't think I've ever tried to borrow this many, this many things from the mall, but maybe the guy will be in a Christmas mood. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll just give them to me because he's a nice guy. Um, hello there, Mr. Cashier. Um, I'd like to borrow all of these things. No, it is certainly not okay for you to borrow those things. Do you have any idea how often you borrow stuff from here without ever returning them? Um, now that I think about it, maybe, maybe once in a while. I mean, I think I borrowed a couple of things from here occasionally. More like every day. Just yesterday you borrowed 500 cookies and promised you only needed them for an hour. Then you never returned. I bet you ate them all, didn't you, Jack? Uh, no, 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 of course not. Um, they, I was taking them on my way home and I was about to bring them back and uh, they were stolen. Yes, someone stole the cookies as I was on my way back. I, I have no idea who took them, but uh, uh, please, Mr. Cashier, I, I really need these things. They're all for Christmas. No, I simply cannot allow it. And nothing you do will change my mind. <sighs> Fine, if you say so. There's absolutely nothing I can do to change your mind. Uh, but, okay, if I can't borrow any of these things, uh, I have one more thing I want to ask you. Is Do you think it'd be okay if we exchange Christmas gifts? What? You want to exchange gifts? But we barely know each other. What are you talking about, uh, Mr. Cashier? I mean, I see you, like, every day when I when I come over here to buy stuff, and, I mean, I don't even, I don't even think I talk to SpongeBob every day. Like, he's busy most days, so, I mean, honestly, you might be my best friend, even. <sighs> well, I guess we can, then. Uh, but I have no idea what to get you. Um, let me think. Um, what would I want for Christmas? Um, oh, I know. Uh, how about you just give me all the stuff that I have right here? Yeah, that would save me the trouble of finding you a gift. Mm, no, no, wait, wait, wait. You still have to get me something, too. Um, uh, well, yeah, of course I'll get you something, uh, Mr. Cashier, but, um, I, I don't have it right now. Uh, I saw something really nice that I think you'll like, but, uh, I, I can't get it until, uh, Christmas Day, so, uh, would it be okay if I just give you your thing on Christmas Day? <sighs> All right, deal. But you better get me something really great, because the stuff I gave you cost a lot of money. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Okay, the gift that I'm going to give you in a couple days is going to be really awesome. Just you wait. You're going to be really excited when you see it. Okay, uh, got to make sure I get that guy something. All right, well, uh, thank you, Mr. Cashier. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Okay, now I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to find that guy something in the next couple of days, but uh, at least I got all the stuff that I needed. All right, it's already starting to get late, I think. All right, time to head home and set up all these decorations. Oh man, it's already starting to get late. I better hurry then. I'm gonna be outside to have to build this chimney, I think. Wait, do chimneys go outside? Yeah, what am I thinking? Of course they go outside. They're gonna have to go... I don't even know what I'm gonna have to do here. I'm just gonna have to go up like that, I guess. I've never built a chimney before, but... I guess now's a good time to learn. Alright. First off, the chimney. Then I'm going to do the tree. Because the tree I can do inside. So let's do the chimney first that I have to go outside for. Okay, let's do that. So... Ow! Oh, my bad. Okay, so, first thing I have to do is choose a location for this. Hmm. As much as I'd love to see those books burn, probably shouldn't put it over there. It'd be a fire hazard. And my chair is over there. And I can't do it there, obviously. So I guess the only place that really makes sense is right here? Alright, well, I'm gonna have to be careful with this, then. Because I don't want to be burning my bed or anything like that. Especially while I'm sleeping. Oh, man, that would hurt. Alright, uh, let's get all the tools and things I'm going to need. Let's see, I need all these things, probably. I'm going to need the bricks. I'm going to need the nether rack. I'm going to need the flint and steel to start the fire. I'm going to need these panes. And... Alright, I think that's it. Okay, I think those are all the things I'm going to need to build this chimney. Alright, so first thing I have to do is... I should probably give myself a little bit more space, huh? I don't want it to be too close to my bed. 
All right, but I probably can't go too far away because, yeah, there's sand right there. Yeah, so the sand is just going to collapse probably. All right, so I can't go any further than this. So this is the only layer I can destroy right here. Hmm. What should I do first? Okay, I need to set the base probably. And... Oh, no. Oh, they only had two netherrack at the mall, and now it's going to be uneven. Okay, well, I, could, I guess I could use one. No, no, one's not going to be enough. Santa can't fit through a, a one-block hole. Okay. Uh, it's going to have to be two, but it's going to have to be uneven. Hopefully, Santa doesn't point that out when he shows up. He's he, What if he doesn't give me presents just because it's, it's uneven? Oh, I really hope that doesn't happen. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to deal with that then. I guess we'll just put that right here. And I should probably go one deeper now that I think about it. Let's go one more like that. There. Okay, so there's the netherrack. Put this away. I don't need that sand. Don't need the sandstone either. Get out of here. All right, so that's where I'm going to put the fire. And all around it, I need, I'm going to need bricks. Because I've got to make sure that the sand doesn't catch on fire. Actually, does sand catch on fire? Ah, I don't need to think about that now. Whatever. That's a, that's a question for a later day. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so you've got all the bricks laid out. And I think from here, I guess I could just go like, like that. All right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, and I guess I can just keep going up like that. And hmm, I like that maybe? Uh, maybe one less. Yeah, there we go. All right. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to want this back layer to be bricks as well. So can I break this? Oh, I can. Okay, I don't even know what this stuff is. The realtor didn't tell me when I moved in here that this, this weird black stuff was here. What is this? Coal? Oh, coal. Oh, man. Santa's already been here. He's already given me coal. Oh, no. All right. Well, again, can't worry about that now. Just got to focus on building this. All right. Take this out and... Perfect. Okay. This is actually starting to come together pretty nicely. You know, for my first uh, chimney, even though it's off center a little bit, I mean, it's still looking pretty good. All right. Actually... What if I destroyed this? Would this make it look any less off-center? Yeah, it kind of does, but then there's that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like that. This, look, this looks pretty good. At least it's not off-center now. At least it technically is center. This looks kind of weird. Maybe maybe if I evened it out right here. Yeah, that actually looks... That doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look perfect, but it definitely looks better than it did. Okay, all right. So we're getting somewhere. All right, so now we have... Okay, so let's actually... Let's start the fire now that I think about it. Let's start the fire. There we go. And now we need panes to cover around it, I think. So let's go. Oh, that. I'm going to say, for my first chimney, that looks pretty good, if you ask me. So now what we have to do is we have to have the uh, bricks extend upward. So let's see. Are there any blocks? I'm going to use this wood for right now. I'm going to use the wood just so. Wait. Using wood right next to a fire? Okay. You know what? Eh. Yeah, it's whatever. Okay. Actually. I'll just use the sandstone. A non-flammable material is probably better. Okay, because I need to get up there. So, all right, let's start. Let's just start breaking stuff. But I don't want to break more than I have to, because once Christmas is over, I don't want to have to repair everything in my house. All right, let's get that stuff and now let's uh, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. I was building up in the wrong area. Let's build up right here. And all right, here we go. All right, all right. So now there's a big hole in my house, which I'm gonna have to make sure I fix. And I guess from here we can just go like this. All right, let's just build upwards like this. And I'm not really sure how Santa's gonna fit through this zero block wide hole, but I guess he's gonna have to figure it out. That's a that's a job for Santa Claus. He's magical. He'll be able to figure it out probably. All right, I probably won't need to use all the bricks, but should be probably tall enough. All right, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a it's not perfectly like right in the center of the house, but I think Santa Claus will get the message. I think he knows where to go. All right, perfect. And by perfect, I mean not completely perfect, but but good enough. That is what I aim for, all right? Perfect, okay, so we've got all that, and there's probably nothing that needs to be fixed in here, except I have to get rid of this, because that is an eyesore. All right, lovely. If you ask me, that is, except for right up there, that block up there is gonna annoy me, because it is messing up the flow of my house. Oh, oh no, I put another hole in my house. Uh, there we go. Perfect. All right. All right. So that is the chimney. Chimney is done. All right. What else do I have to do? All right. I think all I have to do now. Yeah. The only thing I have left to do today. I bought the presents. I built the chimney. I bought the cookies and milk. The only thing I have left to do is set up my tree and my decorations. Okay. 
So I probably don't need any of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna need my ornaments, of course. All the ornaments get right in here. I'm gonna need the Christmas star, of course. And I'm gonna need the leaves and the wood. Oh, uh, get out of here, book. Okay, perfect. Fits everything right down here in my inventory. Okay, uh, where should the tree go? Built the chimney right here. And I guess the best spot would be, uh, maybe like right here-ish? Yeah, I think right here is a pretty good spot. Okay, uh, I've never built a tree before either. I guess it shouldn't be too hard. I guess I'll just go like, uh, it's gotta be far enough away from the fireplace. Um, how about like right here? Right, no, right here, right here is perfect. Okay, let's just build up like this. My house is pretty tall, so that's nice. Uh, like that, okay. And perfect, all right. So now let's just place leaves around the tree, I guess. I don't know. I guess this looks pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, well, ah, there we go. All right, beautiful. Okay, I guess we just build another layer just like the first one. Okay, all right, it's starting to come together, kind of. Uh, actually, I should probably, hmm, what if I, what if I just added a little thing like that around the edges? Is that, that looks kind of dumb, actually. Well, hold on, let me go one more, actually. And, okay, good. Now there's actual layers to this tree. And just gotta go all the way around like this. I'm running out of space in my house, but that's okay. Because uh, all I need for the top layer is like this, I guess. And maybe, hmm, maybe like this. Uh, yeah, does that look? That looks okay, at, kind of. Um... It's missing something. Yeah, I know it's missing decorations, but it's it doesn't look perfect yet. And I only aim for perfection. Uh, you know, that looks uh pretty good, if you ask me. You know what? I I don't have any other uh, Christmas trees to, to base this off of, so I'm going to say this is pretty good. Okay, the tree is complete. The only thing left to do now is add the decorations for it. So first, I might as well add the star. I can get up here. Hold on. I have to use some of the some of my own rock to get up here. Perfect. The star on top of the tree looks fantastic. Get rid of this rock right here. All right. Now all that's left to do is add the ornaments, which should be pretty simple because all I have to do is do that. Ooh, perfect. All right. Uh, a white one there. A, a blue one right there. A green one. Oh, they're they're very bright too. A yellow and a red. All right. Let's just add a few more, I guess. Uh, I really like the colors blue and pink, so I guess I'll just keep using those. Uh, right there, I guess? Sure, okay, why not? Uh, we gotta put some on the top layer, of course. Put a green one right there, put a yellow, no, put a red one right here, and a white one right around here. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. Blue one right there. Okay! Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, I think this tree is just about finished. It took me... Not very long, now that I think about it. I thought it would take me longer, but... Yeah, that looks pretty good, if you ask me. Okay. By my standards, that is... Splendid. Okay. The tree is done. Uh, so that means... I think I've done everything I have to do for the day. Yep. Alright, I bought all the presents, including one extra for Plankton. I built a chimney. I have set up the tree and the decorations. Uh, wait a minute. No, something's not right. It's missing something. Oh, the stocking! Of course! That's part of the decorations. Uh, I guess the stocking can go... Yeah! Alright, it's also off-center because I don't have two, but I don't have anyone else that needs a stocking, so I guess that's good for now. Okay, hopefully it doesn't... Hopefully the fire doesn't burn the stocking, but with all that being said, I think I'm, I'm good. I should probably put all this stuff away, especially the stuff I'm going to need to rebuild my house later on. Um, gonna, not gonna need that coal. Definitely not gonna need it. I don't want Santa Claus getting the wrong idea, thinking that I already have coal for some reason. Put all the tools away, put the bricks, put that, and... Alright, so I have all my gifts here. I should probably hold on to these, because I'm gonna have to give them to people in a couple days. Uh, the cookies are gonna have to be put in here, as well as the milk. And I should keep Stone Job's book, but the wood, the leaves, and the flint and steel can all go in there. Okay. I think that's it. That's all I have to do. I'm done. The only thing I have left to do is tomorrow I have to put the star on the town tree. So that'll only take a couple minutes, I imagine. I just gotta get the star from SpongeBob and put it on the top of the tree. Okay. I think that's it. All right, well, with all that being said, ugh, ugh, I think it's starting to get pretty laid out, so I should probably hit the sack.
Ugh, I'm pretty tired from all that work I've done today. That's more work than I usually do, I must say. Well, I guess it's time to hit the hay then. <sighs> Good night. <sighs> oh, man. Wait a minute, is it? Don't tell me, is it? Is it Christmas? Has Santa already came? Is he? He didn't give me any presents. Santa, what the heck, man? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, no, no, no. False alarm. It's Christmas Eve. Wait, Christmas Eve? Oh, I still have to put the star on the big tree today. I wonder if it's up. Oh boy, I hope it's up. And I hope it's really big. Well, at least I hope it's bigger than the tree I have, because my tree's pretty small when I think about it. But hopefully the one that SpongeBob helped put up is bigger. Oh, barnacles. Whoa. It's so big. I mean, I want it to be big, but I didn't expect it to be that giant. And there's so many lovely ornaments on it. And there's presents under the tree for all the people in Bikini Bottom. Oh, it looks great. And the only thing I have to do today is put a star on top of it. And then I can just wait for Santa to come tomorrow. I'm glad I got all my work done yesterday. Because now ugh, I only have one thing to do before I can relax. All right, SpongeBob. Uh, you told me you'd have the star for me. So give me the star right now. I'm going to put it up top. And then we can party. Uh, Well, Jack, we have a bit of a problem. Oh, don't tell me, SpongeBob. What's wrong? Squidward stole the star. I couldn't find it this morning, so I went over and asked him if he knew where it was. He flat out told me he took it. Squidward? Why the heck would Squidward steal the star? I have no idea, but we can't celebrate Christmas without the star. Jack, since it's your job to put the star on the tree, it's up to you to get it back. Ah, oh, man, I was ready to just put the star on top of the tree and relax today. I, I don't have enough time to relax lately. Lately, I've been so busy with all the shopping and the decorating and everything. But fine, SpongeBob, it's part of my duty as the the star putter upper on the tree. -er. I guess I'll go find the star. Squidward, hey, buddy. Uh, so listen, SpongeBob told me that you stole the star, but I know he's he's definitely kidding, right? Like, there's no way you took the star, right? No, I did. Oh, um, wow, I was actually really hoping you didn't. I thought it was some kind of joke, but... <sighs> Squidward, why did you steal the star? Because Christmas is stupid. It's just a waste of time and money. Plus, people keep saying Merry Christmas to me, and it's really starting to get annoying. Oh, Squidward, don't say that. I mean, yeah, Squidward has its downsides, but what about all the things that make Christmas great? I mean, like, think about all the happy people and... You know, all the snow. I mean, we don't have any snow right now, but when you get some, it's going to be great. And, um, what else makes Christmas great? Um, you know, uh, the big tree outside. You know, like, look how in beautiful and grand and... Uh, doesn't it just spark Christmas cheer from you, Squidward? No, I don't like any of that. Happy people are annoying people. Snow makes it harder for me to drive to work. And that giant tree outside my window is just a huge eyesore. Oh, Squidward, come on, there's got to be... There's gotta be something you like about Christmas. I mean, uh, what about uh, the presents? Squitter, what about the presents? Don't you like getting presents? Hmm. Why would I care about getting presents? If I want something, I can just go out and buy it. Oh, I get it, Squidward. You've never gotten a good present before, have you? No. Every year, SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs both get me something. SpongeBob always gets me some Krusty Krab merchandise, thinking I actually like working there. And Mr. Krabs takes it as a sign that I want to spend more time there, so he gets me work overtime on Christmas. He makes you work overtime? Oh, and SpongeBob gets you some Krusty Krab merchandise. Oh, no. If that merchandise doesn't include a Krabby Patty, and it, if it's not edible, then that's not good merchandise. <sighs> Squirtle, I'm sorry. Those sound like some, some pretty lame gifts, if you ask me. <sighs> I wish there was something I could do to make you understand why Christmas is so amazing. I know. Uh, okay, Squidward, uh, I was going to give this to you in a couple days, or I guess tomorrow on Christmas. In, But I guess you need it now, so here, I want you to have this clarinet. What? You got me a clarinet. And a really nice one, too. I don't know what to say. Well, Squidward, I, I don't know about other people, but usually when I get a gift, I, I say thank you. The... 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 Th th thank ye ye uh, all right, I can't say it. I do really love this gift, though. 
Makes me actually hate Christmas a little less. Squirtle, I'm glad to hear that you finally understand why everyone loves Christmas so much. But, Squirtle, other people can't enjoy Christmas unless we have that star for the big tree, so... Look, since, since I gave you the clarinet, do you think I can have the star back? Yeah, you can have it. I was going to sit here guarding it all day, but now I want to go and try out this new clarinet. Oh, oh thank you, Squirted. Really, it means a lot to me that you give me back the star. Uh, Merry Christmas. If you say that to me again, Jack, I'll take the star back. Now go and let me play in peace. All right, Squirted, I'm not going to know you anymore. Thank you very much. I'm not going to say Merry Christmas anymore, so thank you. Here are blocks of gold. What the heck? All right, well, I guess I'll take the blocks of gold. I guess... That's the star. Sons have never told me what the star looked like, so I guess I guess this is it. Uh, Squidward, here you go. Here's the clarinet. Play it to your heart's content. Thank you, Squidward. Have a lovely day, and Merry Christmas. All right, I got out with the star, or at least with all the pieces I need to make a star, I guess? I mean, my name is Jack Star, but I don't really understand. This doesn't look like a star. Hmm, there's 21 blocks of gold, though. Maybe when I get up there, I'll be able to figure out what I'm supposed to do with it. I mean, if I'm supposed to build a star, I've never built a star before. But I mean, I built a chimney yesterday and I've never done that, so... I mean, a star can't be that hard. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I'm gonna build a star, I'm gonna need my pickaxe. Alright, well now that I've got my pickaxe and some, some of my rock, in case I might need that to help build the star... Alright, now I think I'm ready to do this. Alright, so... Alright, so I've got 21 blocks of gold. I'm assuming I have to use all of them to make this perfect. Let's go... How about like that? Alright, and then... Maybe like this. Right, it's looking pretty good so far. Um, probably should be bigger, though. Let's go... Let's go up two more layers, I'd say. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Uh, let's add one right there. Let's have one on all the sides. And... That looks alright. But... Hmm. I need to see this from down here. Yeah, I feel like it's missing something. Hmm, what if I add... Hold on, let me use this right here. Let me... If I, what if I added, um... A couple of things in the diagonal areas? Hold on, wait, I need my rock back! Hey, hey, give me my rock back! Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, got my rock back. Beautiful. Okay, so I still need... Hmm... It still looks... No, because then it lines up with this. I need to go down one more. Okay, here, let's... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Alright. Uh, okay, I can still get back up. Perfect, okay. So let me place one more right there... Okay, that might actually look pretty good. So if I, but if I do that on all the different sides, if it looks good, hmm, I can't really tell unless I do it to everything. I guess I'm gonna do like a trial and error kind of thing. Uh, okay, so I've got this side done. Uh, this side still needs one more right there. Perfect, and I can get my rock back. Oh no, I broke the ornament. Oh oh, I almost broke another ornament. Sorry. Uh. I think that's pretty close to where it was. Okay, perfect. All right, not perfect, I guess, but close to perfect. Okay, so we've got the bottom parts of the star done. Oop, got to parkour around the tree. And now I just got to add it to the top. And actually, I've got four gold blocks left, so if I do two up there and two up there, it actually, it should work out quite well. Um, okay, so I need to do two, one right here, one right there, and then one right here and one right there. All right. Break the rocks back, get them back, and now, whoop, almost, uh, almost fell off. That would have been a sad way to, uh, to celebrate Christmas, uh, with a broken leg. And now I've got right here, right up here. Like so, and like so. All right. Time to get down and get a view. Uh, wow, it actually looks not half bad, if you ask me. I've never built a star before, but... I think SpongeBob is proud of that. SpongeBob, does this look all right? All right, uh, I can't, I can't really hear you, SpongeBob. So I'm gonna assume it's all, uh, it's pretty good. All right. Uh, well, I guess, I guess that's it then. I, I don't really know how it'll look from down below, but if it looks good, I, I think I'll be done. I'll be done with all of my tasks. The star is up. The presents have been bought. The tree is up in my own house, and I have the chimney for Santa Claus to come through. And I've got the milk and cookies. Don't forget about the milk and cookies. All right, let's get one good look at this. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Ah, my first Christmas in Bikini Bottom. Ah, I'm excited.